welcome back to ranting with ricardo you could obviously hear that you know i'm losing my voice that's because i've been consistent on these videos trying to get them out to y'all very quickly and you know my body and my voice was like girl what is you doing like why are you doing this like really you gonna do this to us you gonna actually uh, make us work and it's just like yes because this is my job. I'm a freelance photographer. And outside of that, I'm trying to live my best YouTube influencer life. And that means I got to get this content to the people. So, you know, can never let a bitch be great. But I am trying my best to come back in 100% tip-top shape uh, health and everything. I, I'm, be, I'm drinking my water with my lemon and my ACV in it. I'm drinking my tea with my cayenne pepper and lemon in it. Uh-huh. And my, like my ginger lemon uh, tea as well. I'm doing all that. But that's not why I'm here to talk about the fact that I'm losing my voice. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to talk about the nightcap. And you know what little I got to see of it before I had to click off. Because it's just like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hold on. Okay. We can get back to it. Um, I'm here to talk about this specific um, situation with Miss uh, Destiny Payton, formerly Williams, and Miss Melody Cherie when it comes to this whole $6,000 and how that came to be in a friendship and then knowing where the bodies are buried. Okay, now let's get into it. Now, we all know that Miss Melody Cherie came out and let it be known that over the course of her friendship with one Miss Destiny Payton, formerly Williams, that she gave Miss Destiny Payton, formerly Williams, the sum of six thousand dollars. For some people, they feel like she said she gave that lady that money in a lump sum. I felt like she said over the course of their friendship, but you know semantics, and we all gonna take it how we gonna take it, and how we read into things may not be the same way other people read into things, but we gonna you know keep it pushing. Now, Miss Destiny Payton, formerly Williams, got up on the nightcap with Carlos Kang, the reality show Kang, and her bosom buddy, Letitia Scott, and said uh, that $6,000 did not come into one lump sum. Uh, that wasn't what I thought, because okay, I've listened to your other interviews, the one you did with the Ooh Ladies First panel, where you spoke about the money, and, you know, uh, her putting out that she gave that lady six thousand dollars over the span of their friendship was the lowest of the lows and i was like really because i've seen some ex-friends go to hell like the lowest level of the pits of hell when it came to dropping neighbor receipts and then some but okay we gonna get into it so basically how miss destiny payton formerly williams broke it down was that miss melody sheree here i'm about to play it out my remote to my tv not the cable box. The TV gonna be the phone. It went like this. Hello? Yeah, girl. Um, go on check your PayPal real quick. Hold on. Cable, cable remote. Why I need to check my PayPal? Girl, I, you know, I, I left you a little something. I left you a little something. Okay, I didn't check my PayPal. It's a thousand dollars in there. Why you give me a thousand dollars? Girl, it's just a just because gift. You don't have to give it back. But girl, I don't need you giving me no just because gifts. Girl, it's a just because. Because we friends. And I want you to have it. You take that thousand dollars and you do what you want with it. Okay? That is yours now. I don't want it back. Well, okay then. Boom. So it, that thousand dollars in the PayPal was a just because we friends. And I'm going to give it to you. Just because I felt it on my spirit. Now, the rest of the money came in a uh, Miss Destiny Payton, formerly Williams, was going through the custody battles and hiring the lawyers and the court fees and all of that. And if you've ever been to court or had to do anything, you know it's going to cost you a pretty what? Pente. And you might use up all your pennies. So the situation went like this one more time for my remotes because they're the stars of the show right now. Girl. I see you having issues, so I'm going to send you this money, okay? So you can use to, you know, fight the chicken king. Thank you, girl. Thank you. You come through when I need you. So basically, Miss Destiny Payton, formerly Williams, was fighting the chicken king for custody of, you know, the baby. So Miss Melody Shari 
you know, gave her some more money, which then, over the course of their friendship, totaled up to $6,000. So, boom, that's where the $6,000 comes in. And saying that's the lowest of the lows of her telling the world, well, we're going to get into that. So, we didn't know that she gave her $6,000 over the course of her friendship. We didn't know that. And the only reason why we found out about it is because if y'all remember, or if you don't remember, or you're just not a fan of uh, Miss Melody Cherie, and you don't like that lady, and you feel some type of way towards her, then I guess you don't really, you don't, like, care about what's going on until she, you know, she clapped back or say something to these, say something to the people. Well, what happened was... Miss Destiny Payton, formerly Williams, was going around on the interviews. And one of the interviews I saw said that lady wasn't a good friend. But she also spoke on how that lady did give her that $1,000. For what reason? No strings attached, just because. Now, she was going around on the interview saying that, you know, Melody, Miss Melody Cherie didn't know how to be a good friend, wasn't a good friend. And then from what the other people have been saying, she was going around to other interviews other than the Ooh Ladies first panel, telling these shout out to all the ladies of the Ooh Lady first panel. Y'all go subscribe to all the ladies. Nisi, uh, Dixon, uh, Jamie, that's me, Jaylee's Corner, and Bondi Blue. Y'all go subscribe to all of them. From what she said on not only they interview, but a whole bunch of, a slew of other interviews was, Melody Shabi did not know how to be a good friend, and she wasn't a good friend. And she also said that at the reunion because she agreed with her new bosom buddy, Letitia Scott. So, boom, we got the, she don't know how to be a good friend, she's not a good friend. And, you know, personally, I feel like if you say that about me, then that's what she said about me. Because I know down deep in my heart of hearts, even if we not friends no more, I was a good friend to you. But for Miss Melody Cherie, she felt like that was possibly, I don't know, I can't say that's how she was feeling. But, you know, maybe that's how she was feeling, that it was an attack on her character. And, you know, there's only so many times people are going to allow you to attack their character before they have to drop the big joker on you to let the people in the world know, you know, you saying I wasn't a good friend and I don't know how to be a good friend. Well, why did I do this for you? Now, some people feel like she shouldn't have did that. Uh, that was the lowest of the lows. Why are you telling people what you did for that lady? And it all comes back to you. Can't, there's only so many times you can attack somebody's character or they can feel like you're attack, attacking their character to the world, Craig, that they going to let that slide until they have to come back and say something. Now, I wouldn't say that because I got a person. We haven't talked since high school. And the things I did for this person, I would never let the world know. Because even if that person feels some type of way about me, the world don't need to know what I did for that person. But that person also didn't attack my character multiple times. That person attacked my character once. And I heard it. And I let it be that. And never talked to that person again. Now, that is where this whole, you know, $6,000, lowest of the lows, all that come from. Now, you th maybe you feel like Miss Destiny Peyton Williams and Miss Melody Cherie is the villain of your story and she has done you wrong and she's done this and that. But you can't go around attacking people's character and not think that they're going to come back and let it be known that they are too a good friend and they are not a bad friend and they do know how to be a good friend because maybe y'all got a whole bunch of friends in the world that is willing to drop six thousand dollars in the course of the friendship on you for just because or just to help you out because they see you going through a tough situation even though they got their own stuff going on if you do then y'all them not even just good them is the best friends but you can't be mad at that lady. You can't say that's the lowest of the lows because you set up here attacking her character. Now, I get it for, you know, maybe you and the rest of the world and maybe me sometimes. We all have a villain in our narratives. There is a person who's the villain of our story. And sometimes we may talk about that person so much. I know I got one person, but he happens to be the villain of me and my friend's stories for like a year of our lives. Now, this whole $6,000, I don't care. It was $6,000 over the course of your friendship, and it was given just because and to help you, so boom, it was $6,000. That was it. That was all. If you feel like that was the lowest of the lows, that's how you feel. 
But you can't just say, well, that was the lowest of the lows and leave it at that. You also have to take accountability for what you did. You can't be rewriting the narrative and, you know, you know, leaving stuff out and putting adding stuff to it and trying to dress it up in big words. You multiple times on multiple occasions said that lady was a bad friend and she didn't know how to be a good friend. And instead of her arguing with you and going off on you, she gave the information and the receipts of her being a good friend. Now, when it comes to you saying, well, I know where the bodies are buried when it comes to her, and she know where the bodies are buried when it comes to me. When those bodies are meant to be buried, let them, be, let them rest, let them stay where they are. Because nothing good comes from you digging up this information and putting it out there. But if you going to, you know, say something and you're going to sip your drink when questions are asked to uh, um, elaborate on you know, what you said, if you're not going to say it, then don't bring it up. Because when it comes down to it, if you're going to say you know where hers are buried and she knows where yours are buried, and you eventually do come out and say something or decide to dig them bodies up and not let them bodies rest in peace, then you can't get mad about what is to follow. You can't throw the rocks and hold, hide your hands. And that goes for everybody in this situation. Miss Destiny Payton, formerly Williams, Miss Melody Cherie, formerly Holt, and Miss Letitia Scott, formerly I don't know because I don't know your maiden name. Y'all can't throw rocks and then hold your hands and expect people to not come out with the receipts on everything, especially when they feel like the character is being attacked. And with that being said, that's what my thoughts on the little piece of the nightcap. Because I don't really care about what uh, Miss Letitia Scott got to say about the DMs or nothing else. And, you know, I kind of watch Love and Marriage DC, but I don't watch it like that. So I didn't stick around long enough to hear Miss Winter come on there. But Miss Winter, you are a beautiful lady. And Miss Letitia Scott uh, and Miss Destiny Payton, formerly Williams, y'all are beautiful women. Mr. Carlos Kang, I liked your, you know, your suit. And you was real fancy with the footwork and I like the DJ. Now, with that being said, stop throwing rocks and hiding your hands and being upset on what happens after. Cause and effect. That's what happens. And this has been, you know, Rant to Ricardo. Rant to with Ricardo. I'm Nikki. If you like the content on this channel, please like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and share me with your people. And, you know, if you don't, then you don't do everything else because you may not like me, but somebody out there does. And, you know, all my information is in the description box below. And I'll see y'all later. Hopefully, my voice is giving a little something later so I come back with a Real Housewives of Atlanta recap review because I feel like Tyrone going to stand up Sheree from the previews and I got something to say. Mm -hmm.